Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Bernie and Jill, and today we are talking about something that a lot of people have been talking about lately, and that is spam in the local service ads on Google. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. All right, Jill, spam is everywhere yeah, uh, it's the worst. on the internet. It's bad. And, you know, back in the day, Google used to, like, people would get put out of business almost because some companies would just come and spam leads and spam yeah. reviews and sell them back to people they were, like, spamming. And it was mm -hmm. just a nightmare. And we're seeing some of that happen again now in the local service ad space. Yeah. Before it used to be really on Google My Business. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Especially with locksmiths. Yeah, man. Like, there, there was just so much spam surrounding, like, Google My Businesses. It was easy to spin up a Google My Business and yeah. get things rolling. And then it would just bury all the good ones. Yeah. Um, and now we're seeing it in garage door yeah, garage services. Yeah, garage doors is really bad right now. Um, and it's kind of Google's done a lot to help from the Google business profile yeah. side. Um, I was reading an article that said that like in 2021, Google had blocked 100 <clears throat> million fake Google My Businesses. Good. <laughs> which but, is crazy. Yeah, and there's still bullshit like sweeping through the cracks with this, right? Yeah. Especially when you look at like... Um, like the, let's talk about garage doors, for instance, right now. Uh, locksmiths, too. And the reason why Google takes that stuff so seriously is because, just to sidetrack a little bit, mm. you're dealing with locks in people's homes, mm -hmm. entryways to people's homes, doors, locksmiths, that kind of thing. Exactly. So they really got to be diligent when they're verifying people. Yeah. But let's just say, you know, I wanted to have my own garage door business, right? And I didn't really want to do too much in terms of doing any garage door work. Mm -hmm. So I create a business. I register it with the state. Yep. I don't really have anything, you know necessary insurance paperwork in some cases but yeah. i get myself created then i buy a bunch of fake reviews on google yep right and now i have this business all these fake reviews i get my local service ads profile verified mm -hmm. now i have my fake business all my reviews and i get a lead and i subcontract it out mm -hmm. right so i do that and then i do it again yep and i do it again yep and again yep. and then when people start complaining and bitching about my terrible work mm -hmm. right I can shut down that profile and just move on to one of the other ones that I have. Exactly. And That's the new process. People are getting killed. Yep. But it's not going to last for long. Same thing. I mean, Google should have seen this coming, in yeah. my opinion. The same thing that happened in Google Business Profile um, is now going to happen with LSAs, where yeah. they're, Google said they're investing in tons of software to make sure that they are in full force trying to stop any sort of fake local service ads programs, but it's it's a mess. And yeah. it's, it's causing a lot of strife for business owners. Yeah, and they can't really QA that, like quality assure, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I can send anybody who I want out there. I'm the one that's verified, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So now what's gonna happen is it's either, they're gonna change things, I guess, and make it different for people, but I just hope that whatever they roll out, it's not going to be too much more work on the actual contractor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not everybody's got to get verified or whatever it is. They just got to do a better job in preventing instead of doing a better job making con the people that are already get hurt do more, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know that I read Google said they've blocked 95 million fake LSA, fake review. Insane. And it's just the beginning. Yeah. Um, but I would say for any business owners out there, you just have to hang tight. Um, continue to do what you need to do on your LSA. Make sure that you've, you're working with a great agency. They're yeah. doing the bidding and the budget. You're marking the calls as booked. You're sending out reviews. Yeah. Continue to do all of that and just hang tight because Google's at least coming in to curb some of the some of the fake profiles. Yeah, I would say hammer the review side, right? Like yeah. get a review from everybody. That's what's yes. going to carry you and help you rank better than anybody anyway, right? Yeah. Interact with the dashboard. Get more reviews. Yeah. yeah. And respond to the reviews. Yeah, Don't respond forget to that. Re Jesus. Yeah, respond to the reviews. There's multiple <laughs> episodes on that, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what uh, What are any final thoughts here for everybody? Let's tell them what they can do right now yeah. actionably to help just clean up this mess a little bit. Yeah. So three things. Continue to monitor your own LSA program with the tips that we just said prior. Yeah. Um, second, report any fake Google business profiles Snitch. or LSA accounts that you see. Yeah, and three. Alert other people in your industry on industry-related platforms, whether it's a Facebook group that you're in or anything else. Just let people know what's happening so that they can report and make a change as well. That's right. Keep the keep them off the uh, off the the map pack there. Keep them off the uh, that three box real estate in the LSA. Yep. It's insanely valuable. Kick them out. Kick them out. All right, everybody. Great content today. We will see you next Saturday.